UFL is going to make you forget what FIFA games are. Plus, UFL is going to be free to play. Over the years, we have seen eFootball, Proja Soccer coming out and competing with FIFA. But really, they were not up to that level, certainly with the last release of the game. But this time, UFL have come all prepared and it's going to be free to play. It's going to be based on the Unreal Engine and there's going to be multiplayer and it's going to be free to play. But the only one downside which I can see, if you can see at the bottom of the screen, this game would be available for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, but for Steam or PC, it is not yet mentioned. So hopefully this game is going to release this year. Hopefully Steam or PC users will also get to play UFL because the PC football gaming market is huge, which FIFA is currently dominating. And the gameplay footage of UFL would what was we have seen is fantastic and PC gamers should get to play UFL and it's a free to play model. eFootball tried bringing the free to play model, the multiplayer model, but that failed because there were a lot of issues in the game. Hopefully UFL have learned from this and the release date of UFL might be from September to October because that is the time where FIFA comes, eFootball comes and this time FIFA would not be releasing under the EA banner, but there, there, but there will be a different banner, 2K banner. It doesn't matter, but there is a FIFA franchise. Hopefully, UFL is going to compete with them with this multiplayer free-to-play model. And the next FIFA game, we are not sure how it will be made, whether that will be also free-to-play. That is another topic for another day. But you see, UFL is all prepared. You can see with all the licensing clubs. Currently, they have partnered with these clubs. But hopefully, as we move forward, they would be bringing much many clubs in it. And Cristiano Ronaldo is a face of UFL. With this, you would understand how much UFL has invested themselves in this new football game. Currently, the football market was dominated with FIFA and through a percentage of EA, of eFootball. But FIFA was a leader and people were again and again asking for a better competition, for a better football game. And from the gameplay footage, uh, trailer what we saw that consists of actual gameplay footage it looks fantastic and you can understand that they have come prepared and all the gaming circuit especially the football gaming circuit has been excited in regards to this release ufl and hopefully this year 2022 we will be getting a better football game better experience better football game multiplayer and free to play and offline like the story mode career modes i would not uh, uh the thing that they would not be adding, but it's very early stage. They're still under development using the Unreal Engine. Hopefully, going forward nearly in months time, we would get a better thing. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo in FIFA, we know how he was looking. But this time, from the trailer, you can understand the graphics are very good and they have come prepared. That's what I can understand. From the in-game menu, what they have said that you can make any number of clubs. You can set up your squad, game plan management. So they have come prepared. And I think the most important thing which the football gaming community is looking forward to is better gameplay. Better gameplay because FIFA, I think a lot of lot of gamers were getting bored with the same kind of thing again and again. And um, I think the gamers were, football gamers were neglected and their voices were not heard. I think in UFL, their voices will definitely be heard. This is Sumit Charismatic. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about UFL? Will it be the leader in football gaming? Let me know in the comment section. Bye-bye. Take care. Keep supporting. Keep loving. And always keep gaming.